They don't want you there. And now they've had one season where they had the fear excuse of all of this to lock media out. And guess what? They found out they kind of liked it. The NFL continues to only allow players and coaches uh, in what we refer to as gang ups, where all the media is on a conference call, a Zoom call, uh, with said player or coach. You don't get one-on-ones unless you're Peter King, um, un unless you're uh, Albert Breer. They're not going to complain about this coverage because they're going to continue doing what they do, uh, which is be handed access and handed players after big games and more power to them for that. Uh, but we're seeing this trickle-down effect now to other sports, and the NCAA and college baseball right now is one of them, where they are encouraging media to stay at home and cover Omaha from their home offices uh, in their boxer shorts and over Zoom instead of going to the ballpark and covering it in person and getting one-on-ones and actually covering the fabric of the sport and of this tournament. Uh, this, this should not be allowed at this point in time. I mean, uh, the, the media, the teams that are involved, uh, where it, we, we see Tennessee, I uh, see highlights of Tennessee winning. Interviews are going on right outside the ballpark, one-on-ones, but you can't do it inside the ballpark. It's pathetic. Yeah, and you look at our market, we're in Nashville, Tennessee. It's a, a huge story with Vanderbilt and the University of Tennessee both going to Omaha. Um, it's a, a rather dead time in sports, right? The Titans will have three days on the field uh, over the next three days, and, and football goes on pause, its most legitimate pause, for uh, you know over a month. Uh, hockey's dead. NBA playoffs in this part of the uh, our part of the country are, are a distant thing. TV stations, in particular, are dying to go to this for live coverage, and they're being told not to go. Mm -hmm. Now, I wonder if any of them go anyway, but you can't do a live stand-up in an empty ballpark between games or, you know, the morning of, of games to set the stage even, or at night after the games are over to wrap up what's happened. seems entirely too restrictive. I think here's my biggest fear with all this. First off, my fear is the growing fear among everyone, everyone. People are either afraid of the virus or they're afraid of being uh, saying that they're not afraid enough of the virus. If you're uh, an organization, NCAA, NFL, anyone else, they're afraid of litigation. They're afraid of a fan having a problem. They're afraid of social media. They're afraid of their players getting their feelings hurt. They're afraid of their co. Everybody is constantly afraid. But here's my concern, Paul, to what you're saying. The fear is now leading to a very convenient excuse for the NCAA, for the NFL, and soon to be for almost everyone else. They don't want media there. This is, this is the problem. It is more work for the NCAA to allow all of these eight teams to have all their media come into town, to have organized events around media being there present, not just on Zoom. It takes more manpower, it takes effort, and they don't want to do it. And let's go to the NFL, leading the way with a lot of this. And Hutton, you mentioned it about Peter King's going to get what he wants, but pretty soon Paul Koharski's not going to get what he wants, simply because they don't want you there. This is a lesson to all the media. They don't want you there. We need media there. They need to be there. Paul Koharski's of the world and everyone else that covers teams, they need to be there. But they don't want you there. And now they've had one season where they had the fear excuse of all of this, to lock media out, and guess what? They found out they kind of liked it. And that, to me, is what has me legitimately afraid about the future of covering sports, is this is going to become a permanent deal. Well, they control the message more that yeah. way. Well, the NFL is Teams will control their own message. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time OutKick 360 goes live. We are live weekdays, 11 a.m. Central, noon Eastern, right here across the OutKick network. And while you're at it, like this video and let us know what you think in the comments below.